Hello and welcome to a new series where I'm basically going to teach you a riff. It's going to be very similar to my master riff series but just a little bit simpler. Why learn a riff? Why learn millions of random little riffs? Well personally I think it's good because you take something away from each riff that you learn. So all these are going to be focused towards some sort of technique or scale or theory in some way. So each riff is going to teach you something and help you hone a skill on guitar and give you something that you can add into your repertoire of guitar skills and you can apply wherever you like throughout your guitar playing life. Right, this is the riff. So that's just a D pentatonic minor scale. If you don't know a pentatonic minor scale, it's basically this shape. We'll do it in D. 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 13. Really simple. And all we're doing is kind of going back on ourselves and then going forward again with the way we're playing it and it creates that sort of choppy sound. So starting on the 13, we're going to go 13, 10, 13 on the E. And then 10 on the A, 13 on the E, 10 on the A again. And it's basically that pattern just running through each one and moving up each time. I'm doing it with palm muting, but you could do it without. So you know that first pattern. Then just start that on the 12 of the A and move it up. Then on the start on the 12 of the D. Moving up to the next string in each one. Finishing on the 13. I'll do it slowly. Hopefully you can see the pattern in all that and move through it as you go. You could do it in reverse as well. You can move it around into different keys. I'm doing alternate picking with this as well. Starting on a downstroke so that we get outside picking. Staying down, up, down, up, down, up with the picking all the way through. So that's your first riff. Have a crack at that one. Practice it, hone it, try and keep it all nice and even. Practice it to a metronome if you really want to. As long as you keep it in time, you don't really want to hear like... If you can't do it at a confident normal even speed in time slow it down it means you can't do it that fast yet so you have to slow things down to get them right so i'll do a super close up So hopefully you can see the pattern in that. Just that, that's the pattern. Move that down a string each time and you'll be there. Just go as slow as you have to to get used to it. And speed it up as you go along and you get better at it. 